So uh, today I'll be showing you another very, very cool card trick now. Uh, the way you start this off is you can just go ahead and show your spectators that you're just going to be using a regular deck of cards. You show them all the faces, you let them know about all the different options they have um, in regards to choosing a card. So what you do is you tell your spectator, okay, um, what I want you to do is go ahead and tell me when to stop whenever it is that you'd like. So you go on the deck, you say stop here. We go ahead and we pull out the first card that we come to. Okay, so that's going to be one of your selections. Now what I'm going to do is show you something really interesting, but in order for you to believe me, I might have to do this twice. So go ahead, um, pick another card. This would work great if you have another spectator as well. So you go ahead and you tell your spectator, go ahead, you know, say stop whenever they say stop here. At this point you have two selections and what you are going to do is go and tell your spectators to take a look at their cards. So in this case, this is going to be your guys' card for the trick. Um, I don't want to see it, but this is going to be your card. So uh, what you would do at this point is take their card and tell them, okay, put it anywhere that you want into the middle of the deck. So in this case, let's say the spectator goes ahead. They put their card in the middle, and what you do is you take it and you shuffle it up just a little bit, you snap your fingers, spread the cards, and reveal to the spectator that their card has magically uh, flipped itself over and become the only face up card in the deck. So this is why you tell your spectator, listen, I want to do this twice because I don't want you to be fooled and you know just think that you know just think that um this is just random, right? So you go ahead and you take the second card, you show them again. Like I said, this works great with the second spectator as well. So this is going to be your guys's card. Once again you go ahead, you put the card into the middle of the deck, wherever the spectator wants to. And what you do and you can show them as well, look, you haven't snapped your fingers yet, so nothing has happened to the cards, but what you do have to do is give the deck a little bit of a mix-up, snap your fingers, and just like that guys, your card should have flipped over once again in the middle of the deck. So this is the trick, and if you want to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so it's pretty simple um, to do this trick. There is actually one setup involved, however. Um, you do have to make a double-backed card or a double faced card I guess so just take two random cards you can super glue these um, you know, double stick tape whatever you like to do and just make a doesn't matter what cards it can be any card in the deck obviously and what you do let's say we have the five of spades and the jack of diamonds so what you're gonna do is go to the normal deck take out the five of spades and the jack of diamonds if I can even find them so jack of diamonds is up front let's look for the uh, Where's the five spades at? So you take out the two cards that you need, and at this point, what you do is you set up the deck using these three cards. So what I like to do when I do this trick is, okay, so let's say the spectator is going to choose the five of spades first. You make sure you know, you know, which card is going to come first, and you stick this double back card second from the bottom face up like this. Um, second from the bottom, and the next thing you want to do is take the other card. So in case the jack, in this case the jack of diamonds, and then you want to make sure that the deck finishes like this. So if your you know sh chosen card face up, second down from the bottom is the five of spades, then you want to make sure that the top card is the five of spades, and then the jack of diamonds would be the second. So that way, when you do your force, the first card that reveals itself is the five of spades. Now. A little thing to do, like while you're talking to the spectators, you can just casually fan the deck out like that, and then all you have to do is just not, you know, not flash the very, you know, bottom two cards or whatever, and that way you're fine, and it looks like a completely blue deck. And then the good part is from the front, when it's face up, the you can spread whatever cards you want. So it would it would even be helpful if you said, look, you can choose any of these cards here, and you really go through one by one every single card, and it looks. Um, you know, just super realistic, but there is one little caveat to this. You don't want to show the spectator too much of this Jack of Diamonds because obviously, you know, this is the card they're going to pick. Um, so you just kind of want to briefly show all the cards here like this, and that way, you know, if they select a card and they say stop here and they remember the Jack of Diamonds on the bottom, it's not going to look good. So anyways, that's the setup, and then here's how you do the real trick. So I already have a video teaching the slip force. Basically, you know, this is kind of like a bare bones version of the trick. You can use whatever force you want to. Um, I will leave a link to uh, the force I teach, though, in another video. I'm not going to teach it here. Like I said, I'll leave the link for it. And what you do is you slip force both top cards. So you go down here, they say stop wherever, and the top card is going to be the card that they stop at. So in this case you give this to the first spectator, you say alright just hold on to that for me. Um, and if you have two it works out better. If you only have one then you say okay listen I'm gonna make you pick I'm gonna make you pick two cards because 
what's going to happen is going to be very interesting. I don't want you to just think this just coincidentally happened. So go ahead. Let's try it one more time. Pick another card. And, you know, you go and you do your slip force and you pick all the cards. Now this would go to the second spectator and this would go to the first spectator, right? So you want to make sure that when you do the trick, you grab the right spectator's cards. In this case, the first card they selected, the five of spades, is second from the bottom. So all you do is open up the deck, put it in the middle face down. You can show the spectators again. Go ahead and look at your cards going in the middle. And what you do here is obviously they're, you know, the face up cards second down from the bottom. So what you do is instead of just doing a single cut like this and cutting the cards, I do a couple swivel cuts just to kind of confuse the spectator because if they just put their card in the middle and you just cut it from the middle, then their card isn't going to be still in the middle. So that's the whole thing. I just do a couple of those swivel cuts. And at this point you can show the spectators the entire deck take out the only face-up card and then you don't obviously don't want to flash the back of this so you flip the deck over with your hands put the card the double back on top and say listen so you know let's do this one more time um, go ahead and you, you're really casual about you know just putting their card back on the bottom like this and you can just you know show the deck again and then you don't you don't talk about it too much you just kind of leave it there and say you know what let's try that you know let's try it one more time at this point again you can spread the deck have the spectator put their card into the middle. You can show the spectator it's going in. And then, like I said before, you can do a couple swivel cuts, you know, just cutting off maybe three or four cards at a time, kind of confusing the spectator. You can snap your fingers, and then from there, you reveal that their second card has flipped over. All right, guys, so that is the trick. I hope you guys like it. Let me know how it goes down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>